test, 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 test. That is really bright. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and today we're gonna to be doing a new type of melt, one that I haven't done before and one that I've seen on the group quite a bit so I wanted to do a tutorial and, and kind of see if we could put a little bit of a spin on these. And what we're gonna be doing is using the breakaway or the chocolate bar molds for candle melts. And the wax I'm gonna be using for today is Golden Wax 494 which is a soy wax for melt and tarts. So it should be a little bit harder, not as hard as like 4625 which is an all paraffin wax. This one might be a little bit softer so I'm gonna do two different ones on this one. The melts that I I normally make are soy 464 which is a hundred percent soy wax and then I also use about 10% of the 4625 which I mentioned is a hundred percent paraffin so I'm gonna do one with the 494 and then I'm gonna do one set with the 464 4625 mix and the oil that I'm gonna be using today is Midwest fragrance company their cinnamon buns so it should smell incredibly nice and then once we're done with these I'm gonna go ahead and package them up and see what we can do to make them look nice but if you're new to the channel my name is Jeff and I make videos all about how to make candles and how to create a business around candles if you'd like to see any of the stuff that I do as far as melts, ebooks, or anything like that, you can see everything on my website at stanleyhandcrafted.com. And of course, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. And I did want to mention the next online class or candle making Zoom session uh, is going to be happening on Wednesday. So a lot of people can't make it to the weekend class. So I chose a Wednesday. It's May 26. There's 25 seats. I think there's only 11 left, but it's going to be a four, basically a four hour coaching session where we go into everything. We talk about waxes, we talk about melts, we talk about pricing, wholesale, getting into stores, pretty much anything that you can think of. And of course, an incredible Q&A. So any questions that you would want to ask and get answered uh, by myself or amongst the group, it will definitely get handled in a class like this. And again, you can see all of that on my website. And if you can't make it to one of the classes, I do have a replay of previous events that we've held. So, so if you can't sit down and watch for the full four hours, you can go to candlemakeracademy.com and I'll go ahead and put the link right here in the, and in the video description down below. So if you don't want to attend one of the classes or can't attend one of the classes, you you can definitely sign up at candlemakeracademy.com and you can watch the replay which is which is the full zoom session and a bunch of other add-on materials too so you can watch that at your own time so that you don't have to set aside a Saturday or a Wednesday to do the whole class and I do have a little bit of an update on the supply website the westsoundcandles.com I've started to do a little bit more on this one uh, the site is live right now but the only thing that you could do is go onto the website put in your email address so that you know when everything is launched the day that we open I'll send out an email to everybody and aside from having HTP Wix and potentially those melters that I was showing in the last video, I'm also doing a lot more digital downloads. I had a lot of people ask for candle care cards, basic labels, anything like that that you can go on and edit. So I have finally gone through, created those and added them to the website. They're not on the West Sound Candle Supply website right now, but they are on stanleyhandcrafted.com. So if you're looking for candle care cards that show you exactly how to properly care for your candle, I know a lot of people put these in their candles and send them out to customers. So I've got a bunch of different templates on there that you can buy, print, or customize yourself. And if you don't want to buy and print them yourselves, I do have some printed cards coming this next week so I will have fully printed cards so that you don't have to mess with it come to the website you can buy them in packs of 50 or more and when you package up your candles you grab one of the cards and you throw it in the box so definitely jump over to the website take a look at those and we're gonna go ahead and get back into the melts I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, golden wax 494 it's a melt and tart soy wax I haven't used this one yet so I'm real curious to see what it looks like in the melts so we're gonna go ahead and measure out one pound So I'm gonna measure out one pound of this soy for these first couple chocolate bar melts. And it's a little bit over. Just a little bit over on this one, 16.7, 16.8. I'm gonna be adding about two ounces of oil to this one. This wax can hold anywhere between 10 and 12 ounces. So since we're doing melts, we can add a little bit more oil. And again, with this one, I've never used this wax, so I, and I've never used these molds right here, so I don't know exactly how much it's gonna pour into each one. So having a little bit of extra wax in here is not gonna hurt me. And then I can dial it down or move it up from there. So let's go ahead and place this. I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the heating pad. And I'm gonna keep this on low heat, probably right around two, just a little over two. And we'll go ahead and let that melt down. Okay, this wax is fully melted. We're gonna go ahead and add our oil. Go ahead and turn this off. 
And then for this one, I'm gonna be using Midwest Fragrance Company cinnamon buns. Seems like a good one to put in for a chocolate bar tester. And that is some leftover wax kind of steaming off of that. So I don't know how much, so I don't know how many bars this is actually gonna make, so this will be a good test. This is 16.7 ounces of wax, two ounces of oil. And that cinnamon buns fragrance oil smells so freaking good. And we'll go ahead and pour these and we'll see how many we get. And I'm not doing any color on these. Just gonna leave them the color of the wax. There's so much cinnamon coming off of that. All right, went a little over on that one. Get the camera out there. I always try to get some extra shots of making a video for TikTok and Instagram stories at the same, um, same time I'm doing the YouTube video. All right, I think we're gonna be, it's not gonna fill every single one of them. So I think if I did 17 ounces of wax, I'd probably get that last one, fill a couple of these up just a little bit more. But that's not too bad. So that is 11 bars with 16.7 ounces of wax. So we're gonna go ahead and let those cool down and we'll take a look at them. All right, so these are pretty close. We're gonna go ahead and stretch these out and pop them out. Not looking too bad. I pulled this one. There's a little bit of frosting on the top of that one. But so far they're looking pretty good. Let these harden up just a little bit more and then we're gonna go ahead and start. I've got the 444, which is an, an all soy wax and then I've got 10% 4625, which is 100% paraffin. So we're gonna go ahead and start that one on the melter. We'll go ahead and heat that up and we'll pour another batch of these. The wax is now fully melted. So we're gonna go ahead and pull that one off. And for this one, we're gonna be using Midwest Fragrance Company sugared vanilla waffle cones. And we're gonna add two ounces to this one. Now I did go up I added a little bit more wax in this one to try and fill every single one of these molds. So I added right around 17 and a half percent, or so I added right around 17 and a half ounces of wax. I'm gonna add two ounces of fragrance oil. And then we're gonna go ahead and pour these and see how close we get. And because we used the 4625 paraffin melt wax in this one, these bars should be a little bit harder to snap That one's a little bit under.
All right, so these are looking pretty good. 17 and a half ounces of wax. Looks like it was perfect. Some of these are a little bit low, so I'm just gonna go back through, top them off just a little bit. And then it looks like all these are right about perfectly filled, which is great. No leftover wax. And that is it. We're gonna go ahead and let those cool down and then we'll come up with some packaging for these. So these bars are getting about done there. I've got a test label for what I wanna do. So for these bars, I was thinking about setting them up, basically wrapping them like a candy bar. So I went and got some gold foil. I'm gonna test this out, see how well it works. I didn't spend too much time on this label, so I don't even know if this is gonna fit. But we're gonna go ahead, set this down. We're gonna put one of the bars in here. Try to find the best way. Actually, this is gonna be the best way to fold these. So a little bit longer here. And I'm gonna go ahead and fold these in just a little bit. Fold those in a little bit too much on that one. So we'll fold these in a little bit less. Wrap those up like a candy bar. Probably do a little bit better job next time, get it a little bit more even. And then for the front of these, I went ahead and grabbed the Avery 22827, which is a three and a half by four and three quarter. I don't know the exact measurements on this one. I measured a little bit, but we're gonna go ahead and see how well these fit on the bar. And they do not want to peel up. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this one right here. Wrap this one all the way around. And then I've got the hand poured in Washington, three ounce soy, soy wax melt. Uh, I don't know the weight on these yet. I just went ahead and put three ounces on there just to get a weight on there, get some idea of what you should make it look like. And then of course, I'm gonna go back through, probably restyle that label a lot more. This is very basic. I just wanted to get something on camera. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and weigh these and see what they actually come to. So get that on ounces. So they're right at a 1.6 ounce, one and a half to 1.6 ounces. So me putting three ounces on that was overshooting by a lot. So about a one and a half ounce melt. And then we'll go ahead and calculate how much wax and oil actually went into this and kind of figure out our cost and what you'd be able to sell these for. All right, so I'm gonna grab another one of these. Try to fold this one a little bit different just to see how well it comes out. And this tin foil is pretty thin, but it's not 
too difficult to work with, which is nice. that label a little more square All right, so that's it with the wax melt bars. These things actually came out really good. The packaging looks nice. Obviously, I'm gonna go through and do a bunch with the labeling on these because the label is terrible right now. But again, just starting out with these, I wasn't looking to create a really nice label. I just wanted to see which label would work, how the font would set up, uh, how to set them up on the side, the back, the front. And the pricing on these actually came out pretty good. I was kind of figuring this one uh, would come out right around the same price or make the same profit as a wax melt or a clamshell. And I think these actually come out a little bit better. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just the basic clamshell that you you can get right here. These hold right around like three ounces of wax and these bars came out to about 1.5 or 1.6. So you actually get a few more bars than you would with the wax melt clamshells. So if you're going to pour clamshells, you get seven clamshells with 16 ounces of wax where you get 11 bars with the 16 ounces of wax. And typically with the clamshells, they sell anywhere from five to $10. I usually price mine at like six to eight, depending on where I am, the website, farmer's markets or anything like that. So depending on the pricing on those, you can get anywhere from $35 to $56 total if you were gonna sell all seven clamshells. And that's on a range of five to $8. And of course, that's really gonna be dependent on where you live, who you're selling to, and kind of what area or demographic and kind of style that you're going after. And because the bars are a little bit smaller, they're about half the size of a clam shell, you're probably not going to sell them for as much. Uh, although I could be wrong, depending on the area, you could sell these for exactly the same price that you get a, a clamshell for. But I lowered these down just a little bit. I put the range four to six dollars. So if you're going to sell these bars anywhere from four dollars to six dollars a piece, you're looking at like forty four dollars to sixty six dollars for all eleven. And even if you drop these down to a really low price of three dollars, you're still looking at thirty three, which isn't too bad when you consider the seven clamshells at five dollars were only thirty five dollars. And quite honestly, I think three dollars is way too low on a melt bar like this. You can definitely get a little bit more. I'm thinking you could easily sell these for four or $5 just because of the way they look. They're really unique. They kind of stand out if you're at a farmer's market table or on a website or anything like that. But again, that's all gonna come down to your client, your area, your demographic, and what you're selling to. So the snap on these actually came out pretty good. The 494, which is the 100% soy bar, actually snapped pretty well. It's a little bit soft, but it still holds up incredibly well and it does well in the snap. But of course, adding a little bit of 4625, which is the 100% paraffin and a really hard melt wax. That actually did a lot better. The bars snapped a lot better. They hold up a little bit better in direct heat. So if you're gonna have these shipping or at a farmer's market table kind of under the sun, the bars or the clamshells with the 4625 paraffin wax will definitely hold up better. But that's pretty much it with this one. If you have any questions on the bars or where I purchased any of this stuff, I've got everything listed in the video description down below. It's all available on Amazon. So I have links down there if you wanna jump over and pick some of these up. And if you do end up making some of these, I would love to see what people come up with. I'd love to see the labels, kind of how you're doing them. So if you do end up making some, let me know in the comment section down below and post them over on the DIY Facebook group, which I host over on Facebook. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed in the video description down below as well. Instagram, Facebook, my website, TikTok, and the phone number if you want to sign up for any of the alerts that I send out for new waxes, new, new product drops, and of course, suppliers coming in with new jars and oils or anything like that. And that phone number is 253-303-7968. And of course, if you like the video, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and thank you for watching.